You seem to quite see emotional. what's happened. You seem quite emotional. I am emotional about it. I, <laughs> I'm emotional. I'm trying to stem my anger, uh, Sophie, in all of this. But I am emotional because I do believe that uh, in the pursuit of Remain, uh, a number of people who have been ardent Remainers in our party, on our front bench, people like Keir Starmer, people like Emily Thornberry, but many others, Hilary Benn, Yvette Cooper, um, they have contributed to sacrificing 59 seats. I think I said 40 we would lose if we pursued this strategy. 59 seats. Uh, but don't worry, we've got Putney and we've got Canterbury. Um, with all due respect to the Labour MPs for those constituencies, I don't believe that was worth it. You name check. Sir Keir Starmer and Emily Thornberry there, two people who are expected to run for the leadership of the party. What do you think would happen if they, either of those two people or uh, similar Remain supporting people from metropolitan seats, if someone of that background became the next leader of the Labour Party? I, I don't believe anybody who have been the architects of our, our, our European policy in the last few years, um, I think is credible to be leader. That I don't think they can win back these seats. And uh, we may not, um, I'm afraid to say, you know, take it... We, well, we shouldn't take it for granted that a change of leader is going to win us uh, in five years' time, if that's when the election is called. Um, but I don't believe there's any credibility for these, pe these people. Um, you know, Keir Starmer led us uh, to a policy uh, that did not listen to uh, Labour leave voices who urged caution. Um, he led us down the path of a second referendum. And I'm afraid Emily Thornberry uh, did as well. She said to one of my colleagues, um, I'm glad my constituents aren't as stupid as yours. Um, I'm sorry, it's not acceptable. And uh, therefore, we're going to have to really look at what might make um, a candidate for leader who can at least steer us to a better place over the next few years. But we shouldn't, we shouldn't for one minute think that a change of leader is going to create an election victory for us. It's about Brexit, but it is wider than that. The policy platform that we had was offering everything to everybody. And whilst many of those policies were pol uh, popular, there was an underlying scepticism amongst my voters about whether actually Labour could deliver. And I think that was felt uh, through other parts of the country as well. Um, we but this is a terrible time for the Labour Party and for the Labour movement.